leaderboard, and that way you can enter the upcoming 16-person tournament. So the Spring Open Tournament leaderboard is up and running, available for everyone. Bodie McBoatpants in the chat says, February 7th, so it does start in February. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McBoatpants. I appreciate it. All right. So let's take a look at this Onshape uh, 3D modeling challenge. Remember, you can do this at onshape.com slash free. If you want to go to onshape.com slash free, you can sign up for a free account. You can model this. I'm using the free version of Onshape to create this model. And we can see that this model is called Socket. It comes from our tournament, the World Championship of 3D CAD Speed Modeling Tournament. And uh, this model here is kind of tricky. And as always, what I do, the first thing I do is I look at the units. So the units are once again in pounds. Most of our models are in millimeters and, uh, and grams, but this model here is in pounds. And we can see here that the, um, the units are in IPS. The material is plain carbon steel and the density is 7,800 kilograms per meter, square, meter cubed. Now, we also see this model has a lot of symmetry. It's got symmetry in multiple directions. And so I'm definitely going to take the approach of just creating half of the model. So I'm just going to create this half of the model to begin with. And so then the question becomes, you know, what are my features going to look like? And whenever you're coming up with your game plan, it's always good to kind of unbuild the feature tree in your brain. So in this case, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by creating this shape. This is going to be my first sketch, creating this shape here, then extruding it. And then this shape has some taper on it. So then I'll create this taper. Then I think my next shape is going to be this shape here. It kind of looks like the letter C. And that shape is going to get extruded down to the middle of the part because I'm only going to be creating half of the model. And then the third shape that I'm going to attack is going to be this shape here, uh, which is uh, going to be the cutout that takes place inside of that C shape. Then I'm gonna create this hole here, punch through the bottom. Then I'm gonna finish up by creating this little extrusion here that comes out to this face. And then the revolve to kind of create that spherical revolve there on the end of that face. And then I'll finish off by doing a mirror all about that center line and then assigning the material, calculating the mass, and I should be good to go. So as always, before you get started in your 3D CAD program, Come up with a basic game plan of how you're going to attack the model and then, and only then, get into your actual 3D CAD software. So now that I've got my game plan, let's get into the free version of Onshape. I'm going to take a screen capture of this print. So we're going to grab a screen capture here, move that over to my second screen, and let's jump into the free version of Onshape. Uh, the free version of Onshape means that if you want to, uh, want to see this model, all you got to do is search for... 23-T-53-socket dash 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 or anything like that, 23-T-53, it's a public document. So you're going to be able to find this document and then you can kind of pick through the feature tree that I've created. So I'm going to start out here. I'm going to model this um, on the top plane. I know that's not exactly the view that it's showing there, but it just, it just feels a little more intuitive to me. <clears throat> and then I'm going to create a line arc line so I'm, I'm coming back and i'm touching the end point to create that uh that line arc line workflow and then i'm going to take this point here and drop it on the origin i'm going to take this point here and this point here and press h to make sure that they are horizontal and i'm going to jump into my smart dimension and look i forgot to change the units uh i i reminded us of that in the last tutorial and then i forgot it this time so let's exit that sketch go to workspace units and then change our units here to inch and to pound and then we can get back into that sketch and create that smart dimension so now we're going to make that at a radius of 1.5 we're going to make this at a radius of one and we're going to make the center to center distance here at a distance of three inches and that finishes that shape. Let's turn that into an extrusion. And this extrusion is not going to start on the top plane, but it's going to start at an offset from the top plane. And that offset is going to be 7 over 2, uh, so 3.5 inches there, so that we end up with an offset so that the, the top plane is at the very center of our model. Uh, this is going to have a width of 1 inch. And there we go. And so if we get into our front view there, yep, that's exactly what we wanted. And so now let's go to the front plane and begin a sketch. And we're just going to create a line here. And that line is going to have what's called a Pierce relationship. So I'm going to take this uh, arc here 
and this point here, I'm going to do what's called a pierce. And I can do the same thing here on this arc. I can pierce those two together. And that way, the only dimension I have to add here is that six degree dimension uh, for that taper. So now we've got that six degrees for that taper. Let's turn that into a remove, the rule all, and symmetric. And that'll cut away that top section. And this thing is already looking pretty good. So instead of creating it on the centered plane, we created it up here. And then we added in that taper there on the top. So now we're going to create that kind of um, C shape, which was the second part of our plan. This shape here kind of looks like the letter C. So we'll do that by going into this face of the model, beginning a sketch. We'll get normal two, and we're going to create our arc here. And let's take that arc and make it so that it's concentric. Let's take these points here and make them so that they are vertical. And let's give that arc a radius of, uh, we can make that a radius of one inch on the inside and then um whoops this shouldn't be i wanted them to be vertical to one another oh i think i picked up on a mid with a midpoint relationship yeah okay there we go accidental relationship there sometimes that happens you just got to kind of look at the screen and then analyze what's going on with that uh, relationship and so now I'm going to create a, a line here I'm going to press the letter Q and that's going to make that a construction line and I'm going to make another line here and do the same thing so a construction line there and because these points are vertical I kind of have that uh, automatic symmetry so all I need to do then is just add this dimension here at 130 and now I'm ready to turn that into an extrusion so this extrusion here is going to use the thin feature option in on shape I'm going to extrude that C up to a height of um, not blind, but up to face. And I'll go right up to that mid plane. And then the width of this is going to be 0.25 because that outer radius is 1.25. So going from 1 to 1.25, the width is 0 0.25. Perfect. It's, it's almost like on shape read my mind and knew exactly what I wanted from that. So now I'm going to create a sketch uh, on this face here. So begin a sketch. And for this one, I'll just take this whole face here and convert. Um, and then I will create my uh, my lines again, just like I did last time. So a line here to this point and a line here to this point. Oh, another line here to this point. And then once I create those lines, I can make the, the end point of those lines vertical to one another again using V. And that means the only dimension I have to add in here is the dimension for that 1.5 distance. And so now I can take that, that region there and just turn that region into an extrusion. So that's going to be a solid remove. And it's just going to be that, that one region right there. And so that's going to go up to a, um, a distance of two inches. And there we go. And now we're ready to jump into the fillet command. And that fillet command is going to be at a value of, oh, it is 0 0.375. So 0 0.375, that's going to be this uh, corner and this corner. And there we go. Just kind of sticking right with the game plan. It's really important that when you come up with that game plan, you try to stick to it. And, you know, if you need to pivot, if something goes sideways, that's fine. You can pivot. But if you have that game plan, it's really going to help you kind of speed through these designs and get that, you know, get that model out to the shop floor or get that 3D print over onto the, you know, the 3D printer so you can get it out to the customer. So just kind of come up with your game plan and then stick with the game plan. There you can see we were able to take that circle, turn it into a cut extrude. And now we're ready to create um, almost the final feature, which is going to be a sketch here on the right plane. And I'm going to take a sketch of a circle. I'm going to make that circle with a diameter of uh, 0 0.375 times 2 for the diameter. And then I'm going to take that circle. I'm going to take this point of the circle and the uh, the arc here or the midpoint of the arc and make those coincident. And so that locks that circle down. And now I'm going to turn that into an extrusion. And just like we did earlier, we're going to say that extrusion is going to start from an offset. And that offset is going to be 3 inches and then that extrusion is going to go up to a face, and that face is going to be this face here. And so you see that gives us that nice blend between those two, a nice, you know, continuous face there between those two. And so now the final feature that we're going to create here is going to be a revolve. And like we did earlier, because of imprinting, to create this revolve, we can just create a line here that comes up from the midpoint. And then we can exit that sketch and jump into a revolve command. And we can say that this is the region we want to revolve. And this is our revolve access. 
And there we go. That gives us that kind of spherical shape sticking in on the end of that model. And so now we're ready to jump into a mirror command. We're going to mirror this entire body. We're going to mirror it about this plane here. And we're going to merge those results. Come down here to the name of the part, assign material. And that material is going to be the Too Tall Toby custom material of plain carbon steel. There we go. And now we can pick anywhere on the model. We can go to our mass properties. And the answer is 5.73723 pounds. And I don't know if that is correct or not, because I don't have my answer key in front of me. So I'm just going to say that is correct. So that is your on-shape tutorial for this model, the 23T53 socket. If you enjoyed that tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to support the channel. Like and subscribe is the easiest way. Of course, you could also share the channel and reshare the channel. And, um, you know, be sure to uh, remember that we can always accept some value for value. You can go to twotalltoby.com slash donate, or you can use the super chat, or you can use the super thanks if you're watching the recording. Lots of different ways to show us some love here at the Two Tall Toby channel. All righty, let's take a look at our uh, our chat here, see what's coming in. And uh, a lot of cool discussion here going on in the chat. I like it. I like it. Let's find out what the answer is to the second model.